Let's take a closer look at the Creo Flexible Modeling Extension for Creo Parametric compared to ProEngineer Wildfire 5. Flexible Modeling offers direct editing tools to work on imported geometry and fully detailed models. This is helpful when models are built by someone else or with design intent that makes making changes difficult. In this first example, we want to eliminate some of the cuts on the flange. When we try to change the feature, we get a message that entities we want to remove are referenced by other features. Rather than having to investigate and resolve these, we can use direct editing to make the changes. We can use the pattern recognition to quickly remove instances we don't want and to change the spacing of these cuts. In the next task, the boss was created by aligning it to a plane so we don't have dimensions to allow us to move this easily. We could try to redefine how it was created, or we can simply move it to its new location. We can easily select all the geometry and then use the move command to move the boss to a new location. After we're satisfied with the new location, the rounds will be reattached around the boss. In Pro Engineer Wildfire 5, we would have to copy the geometry to the new location and then remove the geometry at the old location. Lastly, we can move a hole easily around the shaft of the part. After completing the move, we can then regenerate the assembly. Parts and features that reference the original are relocated without having to manually edit their definition. We've shown some of the key highlights in Creo Flexible Modeling Extension for Creo Parametric to handle design changes, especially late stage design changes. The impact on design productivity is impressive. In this short comparison, we have 34% less mouse travel, 50% less mouse clicks. 50% less open menus. The result is improved design productivity, as even in this short comparison, I saved some 52% of the time taken to achieve the same result with Creo Parametric compared to Pro Engineer Wildfire.